So I got my original 3D printed Nightwing armor, which I absolutely loved, um, but because it was 3D printed, it was very solid. Um, I painted it up myself, um, and then I wore it for the initial photo shoot I did for my Tiny's Nightwing. Since then, I've had it cast and molded by Replica Industries in urethane, um, which makes it much more easy to move in, um, and it's just much better, as you can see here. I can actually move in it instead of being stuck like a statue. When they cast it in urethane, they sent me back the new ones in urethane and the originals. Uh, but the originals have just been sat in a box for the past year, so I decided to give them a paint job. Um, so I'm using the Peugeot Aegon Blue. As you can see here, I started taping up the areas and I was like, I'm going to conserve tape and just tape up the blue areas once they're painted and dry to make sure when I paint black, they don't get painted black as well. I should have worn gloves here, I realised that after, so I closed it up, let it dry. When I actually got some gloves, um, and this is after a few coats, here I am just pe peeling off the tape. And now I'm taping up the areas that are painted blue that I want to stay blue. Um, so when I effectively spray paint the rest of it black, um, the areas that are taped will stay the colour underneath the tape, which is the blue that we painted. Um, so as you can kind of see here, um, I've taped it all up. On the torso here, I'm going to conserve tape again and put some paper over it, um, as you see here, and then tape over that um, to hold all that down. And the paint I'm using here is the Jaguar Textiles paint. It is my go-to for many paints, uh, for many projects, and I'm airbrushing it on. Uh, I've got a little bit of water here to water it down a little bit, so it goes into the airbrush with the pipette thing. Um, but yeah, here it is, kind of just going on. It's a little bit hard to see. It'll take a couple of coats, and it only goes in small areas, but you make sure you get that detail, really. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love the Jaguar paints. They go on all types of things, from fabrics to wood, um, foam and 3D printed stuff, they are just my go-to paint. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're worth it. They often don't need a primer or a lacquer. Um, here it is after, I'm just peeling off the tape to expose the blue. Um, so obviously those areas that we had the tape on has kept, they've stayed blue. Um, sadly, there were a couple of imperfections um, from either where the black went through a little bit um, or the tapes pulled off a little bit. So what I do here is I effectively get my spray paint, I spray a bit in the lid so it makes kind of a pool um, of liquid and then I get a paintbrush and just fill those bits in. And here it is. Um, I don't actually have any matte lacquer at the moment uh, to make it less shiny. But this is on display. I mean, it's just a small display area so I only have those two bits of armour out. Um, but this is my display for the 3D printer stuff at this stage. This is where I keep my urethane armour. It's a temporary little logo on there at the moment. Um, but here it is in this kind of suitcase. As you can kind of see, it's much more like flexible and stuff. If you want to get something like this yourself, it's from Replica Industries. Uh, message them and get 10% off with the code PAJAMA10. Uh, thanks for watching.